Hi guys, so let's learn Wake Me Up by Avicii. Well, the chords sound very similar. It's it's pretty much a 6-4-1-5 progression. You could sort of simplify it as a lot of lessons on YouTube are already probably doing. But what I thought of doing is bring out com some of the smaller intricacies of the song which I which I'm able to hear. So Thus, I've divided the song into three sections. So there are three sections which are quite unique musically. However, the verse and the chorus where they go wake me up is pretty much consistent. And then, of course, you have the, the hook. Which I'll teach you at the end of the lesson. So let's first start with the chords. And I'm going to start from the chorus, Wake Me Up, because it's very, very uh, popular. And then we'll come, we'll move up and do the verse, etc. Right? So let me first play you the chorus of Wake Me Up. So let's break that down. So that's one. For the first chord is B minor for two counts. One, two, G major for two counts. D major for two counts. Then D major again. And then one count of D major and one count of A major. So let's count that again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So remember. One, two, three, four. You may be tempted to play one, two, three, four. It's not that. It's one, two, three, four. So the A comes in at the four, right? And the second bar, na, 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 D, D, F sharp. So I suggest to go through my chords. B, G, D. D A B G D D F sharp minor and you play these bass notes in the left hand wake me up when it's all over na 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 that F sharp minor is really nice sounding right and coming to the rhythm well Sort of what the guitarist is playing is a rhythm which I've evolved to this. So I'll just play you the rhythm and then try to teach you guys in a slower pro manner. So that's your rhythm and the way I'm doing it is if I break it down first left hand so that's B fifth B fifth and I'm just toggling it in a very very disco like manner and when I'm doing G and D I've just preferred to play octaves there I think it sounds nicer so let's see how it goes B G, D major, D, A, B minor, G, D, D, F sharp, wake me up when it's so old, D, A, B minor, D, 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 F sharp. So while you do that, It's quite easy in the right hand now to fill in. So this is a very consistent thing. I'd suggest you practice this first. Just the shifting. And so on. And the right hand will go. So it's basically two hits in the right hand, 
one e and a, one e and a, one e and one e and a two e and a one e. So the and of the one, one e and a two e and a, one e. So you don't hit it at the one. You're tempted to play it at the one. So one e and a two. Except for the D and the A part and the D and the F sharp. Except for the ending where you just hit the ands. These three chords, B minor, G and D, have it at the and of the one and the E of the two. So let's show that again. It's probably easier to just get both the hands together. You'll you'll probably enjoy the process a lot more, right? So that's quite a that's quite the the rhythm, if you ask me, which you can implement on your instrument. Um, if you're not able to play that, perhaps you could try something a bit more simpler, like this, perhaps. So basically, just play the ands in the right hand. One and two and three and. And continue the same rhythm in the left hand. So it's a slight modification, but it'll work completely fine, I think. The original one though was it's at the E of the two. So instead of just playing and 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 and, you're doing and E and E. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and one E and that's your right hand. Okay, um, let's now do the verse. The verse is pretty much the same chords, but there's basically what we call as a slash chord, which I'm going to show you all here. So B minor going to G, going to D slash A, and another D slash A. So what that basically means is you play D major in your right hand and A bass. That's also what the bass guitar is playing. However, in this song, it's more or less the guitar. So you go G. So it creates a little bit of tension, right? D with A or an anticipation. Na, 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 na. So you stay on D with A. And the every alternate time, as I've marked out here, B, A, G. You just play a bass A, taking you to the G. B, A, G. Let's see how that sounds. B, A, G, D. So, first time you don't do it, second time you, you do it. So, it's like an alternate. That, that's where I got the A. If you if you can't do it, there's no problem at all. Anyway, your bassist is going to do it in the band. So the bass part, so you you need to just play that additionally. Otherwise, you can just go. And if you can't do the sixteenth note accents, you can just stick with eighth notes. Try to not play the right hand at the one, at the on beats. Try to play it at the off beats. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You have an intro which is the same as the chorus chords which I've written down with the slash chords, D slash A, which is there only in the intro, not in the chorus. And then finally, we have the tune, right? Where I've written it down. I'll just play you the tune once. I'm sure you've all heard that tune. So let's do it.
try to follow my fingers as well as I'm playing. I'm just doing a little trill here. Little faster. And so on. Now along with that you can just play the bass as well. So it's essentially octaves. Staccato D A B G D D F sharp. Basically, the same chorus chords wake where where they sing wake me up will go with the tune. So let's do it slowly. was an F sharp in the bass. Right, so it's a very cool piece to play if you're a piano player. Right, so have fun playing this song and as always, I'll see you in the next one and share the lesson with your musician friends if you found it useful. Cheers.